Je suis Wafé Tou, Narad Nekda Zidai. Et mon nom est Bio Bio Bobo. Et nous sommes les Liquid Bros. Welcome to our home, our mother's kitchen, where the magic is happening, right? Ever since COVID-19 lockdown started, from day one, people have been going crazy with home brewing. Uh, we saw all kinds of apple ciders, pineapple ciders, ginger beer has been made, things made from oh, some awful stuff. Gray looking stuff, creamy looking stuff, milky looking stuff, and people got hammered from stuff. They are not really sure how it was all made. So we took advantage and we decided to explore this home brewing stuff and show you what could happen with your home brew if you showed a little bit of patience and a little bit of technique and sophistication in your methods. And today we've got for you our sample of apple cider. Semi-sweet, semi-sweet apple cider. So now the background of this cider is that I decided to make this apple cider for, um, for my dad and for his friends. So the making of this brew, um, I used um, red apples, sugar, palm sugar, and the most important stuff. Most important stuff, anchor, brewers, yeast. It is my This stuff makes you feel like an alchemist, yeah? Yeah. It was Malam. Apparently this East or any other East was banned from was actually taken down in shells in some of the stores. Fortunately now we stockpiled um, this product. <laughs> That's why now we left with only three because of been brewing and some of the brew you might see them on camera somewhere somewhere yeah. somewhere. Yeah. And and a little bit of a disclaimer so that we don't, we don't get arrested. We didn't sell any of the homebrew we made. We were not trading alcohol that was banned in South Africa. Yes. We just made it and drank it. Yes. Well, because why? Right? People drank it, not that. Because why? Right? We love good drives. People love good drives. Yeah, shout out to Enka East. Thank you very much. So this brew was made on the 4th of May and I bottled it on the 16th of May. Just like. 14, 16 days after. So now, till now, now it's like the second or some. Now it's somewhere June. Second of June. Now it's the second of June. It's about how many days in? Like 15 days after being bottled. So we're about to taste and cover it. In time. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do, 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 do. That is some serious carbonation right there. As you can see, there you go. Bottle, bubbles and all. Carbonation happened in the bottle. This is why we wanted to wait a couple of weeks before we drank it, right? There's a difference between this one and the one our father drank the week, the same week it was right. So, yeah, let's go, man. Let's see. Check that out. Check that out. Check that. Check that. And some for you. Like you can cut, you can cut the bubbles inside. Like it's some real Makoya stuff. Like a proper. Boo, a proper alcohol. A proper. Um, apple cider, you know, you can come with bubbles, still carbonating. Oh yeah, fun fact, there's one thing you should know about carbonation, right? Um, this bottle uh, exploded a few days ago. Yeah, the, the cock poop came off, yeah? It was full, because of carbonation was still happening inside, the bottle exploded, the cock came off, then that's why you saw it somewhere here. Uh, because it was still active and I think that another reason for this is because uh, we should I think we should get proper bottles and like 
and not use wine bottles because yeah, yeah. it's not safe. Beer bottles with, with a proper capper so we can hook it up there because we saw, yeah, yeah, man, champagne popping, man. <laughs> it came out on its own. Yeah, yeah. Taste. So, one thing about tasting is that um, there's two types of tasting. Well, well, the one I prefer is that you sip it, you let it um, dangle around your tongue for a little bit, and you swallow it. Mm. The next sip, sip it straight. Then that's when you're gonna get your flavors, um, the texture, and everything you, you need to know or taste in this um, whatever, like whiskey maybe, um, other wines. Uh, then yeah, sip it. Mm. Let it, let, it, let it play around your, around your tongue for a little bit, then drink it, the next sip, just go. So. Mm. That is strong, eh? That is really strong. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> that is surprisingly strong. But it actually makes sense, right? This. This, uh, the, the original gravity on this was, uh, what is it, 1.100, right? And it stopped right there at 1.000. And if you do that, original gravity minus the, first gra the final gravity, uh, multiply by 1 point, no, multiply by 131.25, it actually goes to 13%. So, potential alcohol volume in this, 13%, no wonder it's so... And, and one thing about APV is that as soon as your brew start hitting like 11 to 13 to 14%, uh, we, we no longer consider it a side of a beer, it's actually a wine now. Because only wines have that too much um, APV really. It's basically about the technicalities of classifying, right? Yes. Um, the moment you go above around nine percent and upwards, now you go into the wine territory. Yes. Uh, below that, you are in the cider territory, right? Cider and beer. Yeah, cider and beer. Mm -hmm. And then, I think the highest alcohol volume of a cider that is sold commercially in South Africa is about eight percent, if I'm not mistaken. And one of the most popular ones, an apple cider, which is popular in South Africa. I'm not gonna give the name away. Uh, it's six percent. You can check it out. This driver, you can drink it. Shout out to them. This and this is you can. That's why. That's why you ended up with thirteen percent um, potential alcohol because this is you can actually push your bowl to thirteen or oh, fifteen percent potential alcohol with this is. Uh, the other is five. Four, eight, maybe, but that's another video. So no, no, no. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna teach you more about two types of yeasts. Not two types, but the ones that we use most of the time. So yeah. So what do you think? Oh wow, man, it's really strong, eh? But it's got a nice crisp flavor. Uh, the acidic in them, it's nice and balanced, nice fizz and sparkly in the mouth. Surprisingly not flat, eh? it's nice and fizz nice. on the mouth. Yeah. Yeah, it looks peachy. <laughs> Smells peachy. Yep. Like there's a little bit of berries in there, but there's none. I can't taste the apple yet. I, I taste a lot of peach. A lot of peach. And it's, it's a bit dry, but not too dry. There's a hint of sweetness somewhere in there. And mind you, we are tasting this chilled. So yes. I don't know when it's room temperature, but chilled. Yes. yes. Yeah, you can yes. get some of that. Mm. All the flavors you need. Mm. So, ladies and gentlemen, mm. this was our apple cider. Why, uh, apple cider, in fact, not wine, but apple, apple cider. cider. Semi sweet apple cider. Um, thank you very much. Please like, subscribe, comment for more latest content. We are the Luca Bros. Yeah, and before we go, let's make a note of this, right? Uh, home brewing. 
please, if you're gonna explore Humboldt, do it right. Because we only found out today on the news that a couple of people died and some got yeah. sick from inappropriately made homebrew, which was mixed with methylated spirit. Uh, we've heard of people using acid, you know, like battery acid in their brew to get it to ferment faster. Uh, we've had brew that smells and tastes awful a lot like soap, which makes you wonder if sanitizer was not used in there because, you know, it's high in alcohol. So do it right. Be patient. Do it right. And if you do it right, this is what you could possibly have as well. Drink safely. Drink responsibly. Drink under lockdown. Keep South Africa safe. Not this, not, not safe for person under the ages of 18. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Cheers. <laughs>